Investors have fallen in love with Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg all over again. Imagine that. Remember how much hype this company had going into its IPO in May, and the stock has been pummeled since then. Interestingly, though, Facebook stock up Wednesday morning, largely due to comments that Zuckerberg made at the TechCrunch Disrupt conference on Tuesday. What investors seem to be really excited about is the fact that Zuckerberg once again reiterated that mobile is the key priority for the company. Now, that's all well and good. Obviously, many people are worried that even though Facebook has nearly 1 billion users worldwide, it isn't making that much money yet from those mobile users. Now, here's the problem. Some analysts still aren't convinced. Despite Zuckerberg's talk on Tuesday, one analyst cut her price target on Facebook and lowered her earnings estimates, specifically citing the fact that Facebook, to be honest, just isn't making that much in terms of revenue and profit from its mobile users yet. We're still not sure how they're going to do it, despite all that they say. Another concern, Zuckerberg talked a lot about how the Facebook mobile experience could be like television in terms of more interactive and immersive advertising. That could be a problem. One analyst specifically pointed to something that I've long thought of as a criticism of Facebook. Even though it's a great company, it's not really a media firm. It's a communications tool. It's like the 21st century version of the telephone. And if you are online or on your smartphone interacting with friends, do you really want an ad popping up that disrupts the flow of whatever you're doing, be that playing a game, having a chat, looking at photos. This is a big difference between viewing a TV show and then having an ad because everyone knows that ads pay the business. But that's not the case with Facebook. I'm not going on to Facebook to watch TV. It's probably to interact with friends. Honestly, I do think people won't be that compelled to look at mobile ads and that's a big problem for Facebook.